Welcome, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and I'm here today with Dr. Alan Goldman, the Medical Director for iTech Medical. Welcome, Dr. Goldman. Thank you. Well, I'm a medical doctor. I specialize in neurology, and that's the diagnosis and treatment of non-surgical disorders of the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves, and the muscles. I did my neurological residency at UCLA. I stayed on staff there as a professor and then also went into private practice, moved down to the University of California, Irvine, and basically practiced there for 27 or 28 years. And most of my practice got involved in medical legal issues. So I did a lot of expert witness I was the president of the Neurological Society. I was chief of staff of one of the hospitals. Several years ago, my wife and I moved out to Park City, Utah, and I started doing just second opinions again. And I was appointed to be the medical chairperson for the State of Utah Labor Commission. So I only see cases now from the judges, that and the work that I do with iTech Medical. Wow, that's impressive. Dr. Goldman, um, how did you get involved with the MPR technology? In California, I met the inventor of the technology, and I was very fascinated by it. MPR stands for Muscle Pattern Recognition, and it is an objective measure of musculoskeletal function of the neck and back, something that had never been done before from an objective standpoint. So I thought I wanted to see just what this thing was, and I started doing studies on it uh, with using the technology and as time went by uh, it evolved into my becoming the medical director as we mentioned of uh, iTech Medical and I still am just fascinated every day by the technology. As a physician how did you incorporate the NPR system into your treatment with your patients? Well as I mentioned the the technology shows from a truly objective standpoint the musculoskeletal function, strains and sprains, if you will, of the neck and back. And that had never, as I mentioned, been seen before. So we needed an objective measure when someone would come in with back pain. And the most common cause for that back pain is musculoskeletal strains and sprains. MRI doesn't show it, CAT scans, x-rays. This is the only technology that really showed it. With all the cases I was seeing, I needed to know is that what they have or not because that's going to direct the treatment. If someone has a ruptured disc, you're going to treat them differently than if they have a strain or sprain. So in my practice, I started using the technology after I had examined an individual and felt that they had a strain or sprain dysfunction. I knew I didn't need an MRI, I didn't need a CAT scan, I got an MPR and depended upon what that showed, if it was negative, then I'd had to rethink it as a doctor. What could this be? If it was positive, then at least I had now a road map as to either are we going to do rehabilitation to strengthen that abnormality, or are we going to do rehabilitation to reduce perhaps a spasm or some other type of muscle dysfunction. It was extremely helpful and opened up a lot of new doors in examining and in treating individuals. Um, briefly, tell me how the system works. Well, we put 14 sensors over 14 muscles in the neck and the back going all the way down the spine. Okay. We take the individual through nine very simple movements. The sensors read how the muscles contract and we've developed a mathematical formula that looks at the size of each contraction in a ratio to the other muscles which develops a pattern for say how your back works through these movements. Mm -hmm. We then take your movement pattern and compare it by computer to a normal database that we've established, women to women, men to men, etc. And either you're normal or you're not. And if you're not normal, as I mentioned, we can tell where the abnormality is. We can tell what it is. Is it a weakness, not enough contraction? Is it too much contraction, like a spasm? We can show then if there's any interaction and compensation by other muscle groups around it. And that's how you build your rehabilitation program. If it's weak, you build it up. If it's too much, you bring it down. So not only can we objectively say yes or no, the individual does or does not have normal musculoskeletal function, but if they don't have that normal function, we can target direct rehabilitation to bring that function back to normal. So you've mentioned the MRI, and other physicians will use the MRI, X-ray. Right. The MPR then is a form, can it, is it, recognize the same or is it something, is it, it moved beyond? Well, it's a much different technology. 
MRI looks at the spine and the nerves and the discs. X-rays look at the bones. Nothing really looks at the muscular system, which is what MPR does. So if I were to examine you because of neck or back pain, I felt from my examination that you didn't have a ruptured disc. You had the most common cause for back pain, which is a strain or sprain, and I would get an MPR because that's the only system out there that objectively will document what is going on. So we know that with workers and with injuries, and as you said, um, a strain, a neck, a back strain, how is this, do you, in your opinion, do you think this is going to affect the spiraling cost of workman's comp? Well, one of the reasons why I got so fascinated by this technology is because there was such a niche for it. This is the first time that someone with this disorder can actually be objectively diagnosed. In the workers' comp world, that's extremely important because unfortunately, workers' comp can be a legally driven medical um, system and there can be exaggeration of symptomatology and no real ability to objectively or definitively know, is the patient really in pain? And I don't say that in a derogatory manner. When pain comes, everybody reacts differently to it. And you have to respect the patient's pain, but we have to know as physicians what's the cause of that pain. And now I feel that we can define that the cause can be from a musculoskeletal <laughs> dysfunction. From the cost standpoint, you don't need to do an MRI or a bone scan or these other very expensive tests you can do our testing, which is not very expensive, and have the answer for what, as a physician, you feel the diagnosis really is. When you start doing rehabilitation, if you are able to target the rehabilitation, not only to the area of dysfunction, but to the type of dysfunction, you're going to theoretically and practically, as we found out, be able to make that individual better, faster, at a lesser cost, obviously. And as I said, when you don't take the patient out of work, when you really know what's going on with them, the system is going to bring that case to closure much quicker for everybody. That's really wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we've been visiting today with Dr. Alan Goldman, Medical Director for iTech Medical, discussing MPR technology. Thank you. Thank you, Deanne.